Hi guys, we are back now for lesson three of our cabin. So, what we're going to do is work on the cabin still. And what I'm going to do is, as you can see over here, this is not correct. So we're going to fix that. So we're just going to take our black paint. And we are going to make this much better. So we'll go over to the edge here. Maybe yours is okay, but I noticed when I looked at the video that that part there wasn't right. So you fix that up. Good. And now you're going to take your blue and red paint, make your purplish color. Purple for your dark shadow. And we're going to put that dark shadow under the roof right here. So just put your line over here. Just keep going over here with your shadow underneath your roof so that the roof looks like it's overlapping. There we go. Good. Now, when you get that done, we're going to highlight the roof. So let's just get our nice shadow going there. All right. So that's that part. And now we are going to highlight the roof with the reddish paint. So we're going to take some red and a bit of brown, mix it together, a little more red than brown, and highlight that again. Just, just get some a reddish color on there. Okay, and then when we get that done, we will highlight it. So, red and blue, nice dark. Oh, sorry, just red. And just bring that up here like this. Add a little bit of blue to it. But just bring your red roof on here like this. And you can straighten it out if you have to. Bring it over. Good. And underneath the roof line. And over. And over. And there we go. So that's just the highlight there. That's not finished yet. This is just uh, getting more color on there. So we'll take our time so we can get this done properly. Straighten up your line if you have to. And bring your roof edge over there a little bit. Okay. Now, that's good for that. We leave that for that. And when that dries, then we'll come back to it. So now what we're going to do is take your flat brush. I told you earlier to use a flat brush if you didn't have a rake brush. So I'm going to continue. I don't know how many people have a, a rake brush. So I'm going to put some more highlight on this here. So use your white. And the bit of purple that you have made, you can add a bit of that. Okay, if that's too red, then add more blue. And then add white. Just white. And then we'll just do some highlighting. So very gently bring on some highlighting. There we go. And it comes over to the edge now because we had to fix that up. It's still a bit wet, so... There we go. We'll just put, add a little bit. If it's too white or too uh, on the blue or pink side, just add a little bit of black so you can gray it up a bit. Alright then, let's see. There we go. That's better. So what I'm trying to do is get that shadow to match the highlights. What we'll do the same as what we did before. Let's take our small flat brush, chisel brush. Take your chisel brush, get back your purplish color, the blue and the red, dark purple. And go back underneath here, under the roof. It is not dark enough, just dark with more blue or a little bit of black. And go underneath here, underneath the roof line, 
and oh, underneath the rough line. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Clean off your brush. There's too much paint on it, so we can start dragging a little bit of that down into here, so we can make it all look like it's all part of the the house. There we go. Just drag it down. I have my brush turned in a vertical way, like like this way. And I'm just bringing that down underneath here. Good. And what we'll do now is we'll highlight it again. You have to go back and forth a few times to get it right because now it's too dark, so now we have to lighten it up again. So just add a bit of white to your dirty brush. And then we'll drag on some more highlight. Just come up underneath the rough line and the black should blend in with it a bit. A little more white if you need it. Alright. Drag it down, drag it down. There we go, it's getting a bit better. We'll do some more of that after. So, um, so let's see, you know what we're going to do now is we're going to put in a door and some windows. So with the same flat chisel brush don't, and make sure your brush is not too big because that's about as wide as a door and windows. There we go. I don't know what the size is of that but you can probably see the size. So I'm just going to go into pure black just so we can get it started, okay? So take your brush, load it up with black and what you're going to do is find where you want your door. So let's just say we want our door right in the middle and we'll touch uh, touch just sort of use that as a guide there. Touch and pull that's part of your door and now when you get that done touch and pull on the side of it just so we can make the door a little bigger there we go so you can go up a little bit depends on how big you want your door all right here we go good that's your door and now you're going to do a couple of windows same thing load up your brush and find where you want your windows. So just touch and pull and touch and pull. And we'll straighten all that up after as long as you get your windows in. And we got a couple of windows here. So you can put another window wherever you want them. You put them, you decide. It's your painting. So you decide where you want your windows and, where you, and how big you want them and where you want them. These are all your choices. The thing about painting is you have to make decisions. Always making decisions. What will I do next? What will I add to that? How do I do this? So it's all decisions. So now what we're going to do is we are going to clean our chisel brush. Clean your chisel brush and get some, let's see, let's see, how about some red and a bit of brown and more brown than red, more brown than red, okay, and we're going to, we're going to do the edges here, we're going to do the edges of the roof with your brown and red. So you come down on the edge of your roof, come down, come down, come down, come down, right to the edge of your roof. Might need to do that again, but uh, let's, let's get this much done first. And then you do your other edge. Make sure your brush is nice and chiseled because I'm having a, a little bit of a problem because I didn't... To get it really chiseled is to pull it through the paint like this and that will make it nice and chiseled. So we'll just go and line up that uh, part of the roof with a, there we go, 
There we go. Keep going, keep going. Take your time. If you have to stop, where are you? There we go. Okay, so that's that part. Now we have to do that, you know, other. We're going to do that again with some more highlights, okay? So now let's do the edge over here. There we go. Do your edge. Now you might not be able to see that, so I'm going to add a bit of white to it to brighten it up for you. So you can see it. So the edge over here. Too white. Too white. All right, there we go. That's too white for you. I'm only doing it because I'm trying to get you to be able to see it. I find it a bit too late, so I'm going to try and tone it down a bit. All right. I'll just add a little bit more brown to that. So you'll have to make adjustments too. So I just want to go over everything with you as I'm doing it in real time so that you can see exactly what I'm doing and when I make a mistake, how I fix it. and. All kinds of good stuff. And let's try and make this line nice and straight. There we go. Alright. Now, obviously we have to do this here. So let's see how far down we want to come with this part of the roof. we got to match it up with the other side. I think that matches up there. Okay, it looks like it. So now we got the, the outline. Let's outline this a little bit over here. Okay, just a little outline. Brown and red. More brown and red, okay. Good. So far, so good. Okay. Now while we're at it, let's outline the door. So let's see. Let's take some of that brown and red. Brown and red. And add a little bit of blue to it. Brown and red. A little bit of blue. And we will outline the door, so it could be tricky, but just go around the door. Let's go around the door, around, around, around we go. Okay, let's just put a nice little trim around the door and around the top. Oh boy, not easy being left-handed. Especially when I'm sitting like this. Okay, we'll get her. We'll get it. We'll get it done, I'm sure. So just add a little bit of white to your brush, your dirty brush. Leave your brush dirty. And add a little bit of a highlight to that there. Okay. Might be a bit too light, but you can... We can tone it down. I'll just add a little bit of brown to my dirty brush. So I got brown, and I'm adding a little bit of white, just to, and you can add some blue too if you want to, and just pick the colors that I'm telling you to pick on all the painting, and mix them together and see what works best. Browns and blues and reds. Okay, so I got a little bit of trim there, and a little bit of a trim on top. Okay, there we go. Good. Almost good. Alright. And that comes around in a circle. So it comes around. There we go. We'll, we'll fix all that after. And then just do the top of this here. Trim it up. Highlight. Highlight. There we go. Highlight that again. Highlight. Da, 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 da. Good. And we'll do the other side. Same color. Light. Brown and a bit of red and some white, maybe a bit of blue added to it if you think you need it. All right. Now we are going to highlight this a little bit here too. Just a little bit, and a little bit over here, and a little bit over here. There we go. Now we're going to. Add a bit of trim around the windows. So maybe we need a smaller brush. Let's see, what can we use? Let's just try this little brush. You pick out a brush that you think be easy for you to use, okay? Pick any brush that you think that will, like I said, I'm saying brushes, but you might find something easier. So 
you don't have to do everything exactly as I say. If I tell you use a certain brush and, and you're having a hard time with it, then just go ahead and try different brushes, okay? Experiment with different brushes and see what works best for you, okay? Now, we're going to do a little trim around the window. So basically the same colors, red and some brown, some blue, and a bit of white to change the value. Values, we need to use values in our paintings because it helps with contrast. So you got darks and lights. And darks against lights it makes everything pop. So now we'll try a little, let's go for the window. So trim out your window. There we go, a little trim around the window. Good. A little bottom. And a little side. Okay, that's good. We'll fix all that up now. If you if it's crooked or you're having a problem with it, just put your trim on. We'll fix it all up. I'm going to go through this with you very slowly so you'll know exactly what to do. Alright, so then we're going to put this one on up here. That's that. And then we will outline this one over here. Trim it up. If you need more paint, go get it. There we go. Put on your window, your window sill there. And on the side. We're going to be highlighting in that, so don't worry too much. Let's just get one step done at a time. And the window here. And over. And down. And over. Okay, that's that much. Now, let's see. We are going to put some dark paint on the side of this to make it look like a shadow. So dark paint, you can use the uh, red and blue and make your purplish color. Nice dark, see? When you put the red and blue together, it's nice and dark, deep purple. So use that for your trim on the side of this here. There we go, just right on the edge. My brush is giving me a hard time, so I might have to change it. Okay, I'm going to have to change it. See what you have to do? You have to experiment. So I'm going to go back to my chisel brush for that one. My little chiseled brush. My handy dandy chisel brush. Here we go. Let's try that. There we go. I think that's a bit better. Okay. Good. Now you can shape it up the way you want it. That's a little shadow on that side, a little shadow on top. A little shadow on top here. That's on top of the trim, okay? Alright, good. I'm finding that it's not dark enough, so I'm going to add a tiny bit of black to my purplish color. And I'm going to darken that up again. So there we go. I want it to stand out. The darker it is against the light, then the light will really jump out at you. Okay, so contrast important. Think about darks and lights together. Different values of your colors. And lots of stuff. And I'll explain a lot more stuff to you in other videos on color mixing and on composition and on um, so many other things that I think you should know. And um, I'll have it all prepared. Uh, to do that and help you with, and it'll help you learn and have better paintings. So, what else do we need? Um, let's take some of that dark color, purplish dark color. Like I said, not dark enough, add a little bit more, a little tiny bit of black. So, let's put some dark underneath here, under the windowsill. So, it's too thick, thin it out with your shadow. There we go, let's see. And a shadow underneath here. Good. I think we're okay with that. Maybe a little bit on this side. Just a little tap. Just touch. Touch. Okay. So it's okay. We're going to be going over uh, the cabin again. And maybe a little bit underneath these two. And a little bit underneath this one. Okay, I got them a little too big, but I'm going to straighten all that up. I hope. <laughs> so anyway, um, 
we are going to highlight uh, if you don't have your rake brush I am going to uh, use my rake brush in case there are people who have a rake brush okay so use your rake brush or any brush uh, as long as it's flat and it's bristol and uh, this is not a bristol this is more of a, a synthetic or it's a softer it's something like your um, something like your chisel brush so we're going to highlight the roof of the house. We're going to take a little bit of brown, a little bit of brown, and a little bit of red, and a little bit of white. Okay, and this time, this time, you are going to, if it's too pinky, just put more brown in there, okay, and more red. I'm sorry, more brown. And uh, there we go, that should be okay. I'm going to use a bit of white to. Um, increase the value. Alright, so let's take this and pull it down this time. I think it looks nice when it's down. So pull it down, go into shape of the roof of the house. Good, 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 good. Alright, I think we're getting there. Now what we're going to do now, good, we'll just leave that for now. What we're going to do now is get our chisel brush again chisel chisel and you're going to put some of that dark color that dark shadow color the blue and the red and a bit of let's see what that looks like it's too light see it's too purpley so we'll add a little bit of red to it a little bit more blue if it doesn't darken up if it don't darken up for you you can add a small bit of black as long as we don't have pure black because it looks too flat so take that, and I want you to go underneath your roof, and we're going to pull up. Now I'm just using the corner of my brush. Now if that brush is too big and you can't handle it, then use your smaller brush, okay? A small little tiny brush, and just take, just let me take some of this off of here. And just take it and pull up right underneath the eave. You're going to pull up some of these dark shadows to make the roof look like it needs work. <laughs> make the roof look like it needs a bit, you know, that it needs, a, it's old. So, if that line is too big, clean off your brush and then move it up. But clean your brush off because there might be too much paint on it you won't get that effect. So we'll get that up there like that. So now we got some nice uh, cracks in the, the edge of the roof here. Okay, we have some cracks. Now, in order to make it more better, we're going to add some more, let's see, uh, let's see, we'll, we'll highlight it again with some red and brown and blue and red. Just get the color until, keep mixing the colors till you get the color you want, okay, because it can be, can be a torment at times. And then you're going to uh, add a bit of white to increase the value. And then you're going to come down again. You should be using the rake brush for this, but let's go with the brush we're already using. Chisel edge brush. Alright, so like I said, as long as your brush is flat, you can use almost any brush. There we go. So we got a bit of a highlight on our roof here. And we also got All right. Now it looks like an old roof with shadows. Good. Now we are going to fix up those. Let's fix up the windows. Let's see. Let's take uh, maybe a small brush. And let's add a window sill on the bottom. So all you have to do there is have some white on your palette and mix a bit of white with those colors that we've been using all along. Some brown, and some red, and some blue. Brown, red, and blue seems to be a nice combination. And then you're going to add a bit of white to that to lighten it up. Okay. And you lighten it up as light as you want. And then add a little window sill. So stay away from the shadow part on the bottom, just on that window sill. Come over 
like that. Good, and then you do the other one. Lovely. Now you then you put some more white on there because you want to really be able to see it. Okay. When I get these windows done, I'm going to let you go and practice that. So I don't want to go over too much time. You need time to reflect and try to get it the way you want it. Okay, and then wipe off your brush and whatever's left over on it, then you can highlight this up here and here. And we'll do another little window sill down here. Here we go, a little window sill. And when we come back, I will, I will do some more touch-ups and lots more stuff. Do the door. So I think that's enough to get you going there now, and I'll do, and I'll let you go on that one. I think because there's so much more to do. So I just don't, I don't want to make the videos too long. I just want to give you enough time to absorb a little bit at a time. So you go and can practice that, and I'll see you in lesson three.